Welcome Aquarius. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back with another video for y'all. So let's see what August is going to bring bring in for you guys. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and click that bell to subscribe. You don't want to miss out on the videos to come. And you guys can check out my merch shelf empress empire merchandise right up the, right up under the video you can check out a few of my items um if you would like to purchase that would be amazing as well if you would like to purchase the oils that we have and the candles that we sell um you can contact me via email and we can get those shipped out to you all right, so let's talk August for Aquarius. Oh yeah, if you um if you purchase a T-shirt, you can enter to win a free reading, and I'm going to be announcing the winner on August the thirtieth. All right, so. Let's talk about August, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What message do you have for Aquarius for the month of August? All right, so we got the Five of Wands. Five of Wands. Okay, so there's definitely, you're feeling conflicted, possibly. I'm feeling like something is getting on your nerves. And for a lot of you guys... Is either in regards to home life, family, or marriage here. I got the four of wands, the nine of swords, the ten of pentacles. You could be thinking about your money, your finances. Um, finances could be on your mind, but when I see the ten of pentacles and the four of wands, these are definitely marriage cards as well as like home life and family. Okay, the Nine of Swords here being here as well is that you're feeling a little agitated. Not a little. You're feeling real agitated. Okay, especially with your energy coming out as the Five of Wands. The Emperor. Okay, this is the Father card. This is Aries' this energy, but this is very dominating um, energy. Powerful energy. Like, there's a power struggle here I'm getting. I got justice here at the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Libra. Okay, so some of you could be dealing with court issues, dealing with the court system or um, things to that nature. The three of swords and I got the three of cups here at the bottom of the deck could definitely be third party energy. Okay, so there could be like some type of quarrel between three people. I got the death card and the five of cups. I feel like you don't feel bad with the five of swords. This is like you had to snap back. You had to get it in. Five of swords, you had to get it in by any means necessary. But I do feel like there was some type of scuffle or disagreement possibly between three people. Yeah, the ten of swords. All right, the ten of swords is an ending a cutoff we got ten of pentacles and the four of wands could be dealing with most definitely a marriage some some of you guys are possibly going through a separation a divorce with the three of swords and the ten of swords here as well as the four of wands and the ten of pentacles together some of you are contemplating divorce a split or this is cutting ties with someone feeling backstabbed betrayed and it could involve family as well We got the Justice card again. Libra's energy. I see. Okay. We got the Moon, the Hermit, and the Justice card. Uh, okay. Somebody's looking to justify something. And I see that as well. I get that there's is uh, lies here. Like, I'm getting like the Devil and the Seven of Swords and the Moon. Like, this is very ugly nasty energy 
the devil, the seven of swords, these two cards together is just like a really nasty vibe. And like, I just don't like that, that energy. If we're just going based off of energy, this energy is very toxic. And this person could be uh, full of tricks and schemes and lies, especially with the seven of swords and the moon here. This is Cancer and Pisces, this energy. But the Seven of Swords and the Moon, this is saying that something came, something that was in the dark. Okay, there's some type of secret. Some type of secret here. And somebody's digging and prying. We got the Hermit. This is Virgo's energy. And then we got Temperance, which is Sagittarius's energy. But it's like something that was in the dark possibly came out. Why is the justice card here? The tower. Shocking news came. Some of y'all um, got some shocking news with the eight of wands. We got you guys' this energy, the star card. Let's see why the eight of let's see why the tower card is here. Like, yeah, like you surprised that this person told everybody. Tower, eight of wands, and the six of wands. The six of wands is a lot of people. It's a lot of people. Justice card. Um you, that's karmic energy as well. Why is justice here? The magician. Okay, okay. Make making amends. Made amends. Making amends. Future energy. We got the moon. Okay, so. You could be feeling like you need to kind of like stay low key or you could just be like in your feelings. I feel like some of y'all are stuck in your head with the eight of swords. I feel like y'all kind of like just stuck in your head. For some of you, this could even be like someone is possibly in jail with the justice card and the eight of swords. Like somebody could, you know, be dealing with the court systems for sure, for sure. Um, and I'm getting the seven of wands and the devil is like fighting some demons. Some of y'all are fighting some demons in the dark. And I'm definitely seeing that. Somebody got some demons to fight. And you guys are fighting something big or someone around you is. Let's see how you feel. Let's see what. We got the Five of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles is rejected feelings of being out in the cold. You may be thinking about your finances. Uh, I feel like somebody was exposed because the Two of Wands and the Ace of Swords is definitely like truth coming out. The truth came out. Knight of Swords. It's like it happened like all of a sudden. Yep, judgment. You maybe feel like you're being judged from something that you moved on from with the Six of Swords. Because I got the Ace of Cups right after that. Like, you possibly started new. And then we got the Ten of Wands and the Four of Wands and the Hermit. Like, there's a lot. And the Hermit and the Sun card definitely definitely like something that was like hidden came out most definitely how others view you is the nine of swords okay they could be worried about you worried about how you feel or how you're taking this situation why is the nine of swords yeah the nine of wands like they're someone's keeping like they're keeping an eye on you Yeah, like they're watching to see how you handle this with the strength card here. Waiting to see what action you're going to take. 
if you're going to feel bad about what you did. Okay, so in the hopes and fears, we got the death card. You don't know what to think. You don't really know, like, the high priestess is here. Like, you don't really know what to think with the queen of swords. Like, why is the death card here? Yeah, king of swords. You guys, it's energy. You don't want to be come off as rude or, like, insensitive. Somebody got some some skeletons in their closet. We got the Queen of Cups as you guys' outcome. And the Ten of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Page of Wands. Let's see. Queen of Cups. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Two of Cups. And the Five of Swords. Somebody's jealous of somebody's relationship. Why is the five of swords here? Somebody's jealous of somebody's relationship. And three of pentacles and the sun card. Some, something here about a good job. Complimenting someone. But I'm getting like somebody's jealous of somebody's relationship. And how somebody uh, with the Queen of Cups, Queen of Cups is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio's energy. But that's very like caring and nurturing type energy. Um, I'm getting like someone's telling somebody a good job. Like, oh, good job. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. <laughs> I'm getting this a lot of. It's a lot going on. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. And I will chat with you guys later.